Well, it is another black eye for Manatee County School District Athletics, one of the most highly respected coaches in the nation. Manatee High football coach Joe Canan could face a 10-day suspension without pay. With allegations he lied during an investigation of former baseball coach Dwayne Strong. SNN Local News reporter Amber Stidham is on that story. He's the face of Manatee High School football. And now head coach Joe Canan is looking at a possible 10-day suspension without pay. School officials recommended the suspension after an investigation of former baseball coach Dwayne Strong allegedly found that Canan, quote, failed to maintain honesty in his professional dealings. School district investigator Troy Pumphrey began the investigation into Strong after receiving an anonymous letter accusing Strong of using his coaching position to benefit his separate business, Five Tools Baseball, his teaching certification work. The report released Monday States Canan and former assistant principal Bob Gagnon intentionally emitted information and or provided false or misleading information to the investigator. Through his attorney Douglas Peebles, Canan acknowledged he could have been more diligent in oversight and follow through. He goes on to say the allegations are far overreaching. Canan is expected to appeal the recommendation. Strong resigned from his position in October while Canan announced just last week he would step down as athletic director but remain head football coach. Reporting in Bradenton, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. While well, calls to the school board, Coach Canan and his attorney were not immediately returned to SNN Local News, but Superintendent Rick Mills also recommended former Manatee High School Principal Bob Gagnon be suspended for 10 days without pay for allegedly not cooperating fully in that investigation. Gagnon's appealing the district's decision to terminate him after he was charged with failing to report child abuse in the case against former Manatee assistant football coach Rod Frazier.